Station slightly bizarre. <laughs> Today we have two guests. This is deranged and this is slightly bizarre. And uh, we're going to be finding out about their new um, activity that they have created. And I personally am very partial to it. So um, we have a couple uh, audience members who have questions about about your oh. Hey there, Wimpy. What do you? What's your question? Hey, I'm Richard from Weird Sports Quarterly, and um, a lot of my readers have been wondering, what do you do with the kind that have horns? <laughs> oh, that's uh, very uh, simple. Answer. We shave them off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, okay. Yeah, we don't do that. All right. Well, so there's no actual like, equipment or anything like that. You just well, you need a horn shaver. <laughs> All right. Well, that's problem solved for me. Now, I, I know that there's different types of classes of weight, you know, feather weight, heavy weight, really big weight. Um, now, is that dependent on how much blubber they have? Well, uh, yeah, because the blubber is directly related to the weight. <laughs> so, I mean, it makes sense if you think about it long enough. Oh, I got it. Okay, um, you... Hi, I'm Henry Light, the eighth grade paper at the elementary school down the way, and... We have a favorite movie that we all like to watch about animals, and um, I just like when it's just like, boom! <laughs> and then he's just up there and he's like, free! <laughs> That's an eighth grade favorite. And I was just wondering, like, how could you do that to this animal? They didn't pay, they didn't pay for him either. They did? No, because they got him questioned. That was it. Well, Without paying my mom. Eighth grade paper writer, I'm familiar with your work. Uh, <laughs> we do it because we have to. Um, not by any law or government, we just feel it in our hearts. Right, right here. That's... Anyone else with a question? Yeah, Beardy? Yeah, hello? Uh, I meant to be in uh, the, uh, you know, the other stage about bean track making. <laughs> so I'm going to this one by the mistake, and I just thought of ask you a question, because it sounds so great. I just want to take it down to my friends in Mexico. But uh, if I do, do I have to put a, put a mask on them? Because, I mean, I know that's the generally accepted uh, the way to, to do it in Mexico. Well, uh, yeah, you basically you just have to put a mask over it so that we can sneak it down to Mexico, because they're not legal in Mexico. Oh, no. <laughs> all. So we, we just, you know, get through that by hiding it. Masks are the accepted way, or you can just knock it out. Yeah, I think Wimpy has another question. Yeah, hey Wimpy. Yeah, looking nice and small today. Thank you. I knew I was coming here. Um, okay, well my first question, well my second question I guess would be, uh, what do you do with the squid problem? Um, do you use them to your advantage? Do you just try to stay clear when they're around? What, what do you do? Uh, we actually use the squids much like you would use a mercenary. Wow. <laughs> I would hire them to do our work. Does that take the game out of it? Or is it just that just seems senseless, really, at that point. Listen, it's not about fun, it's about winning, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so I got one in the work. back there, behind the, yeah. Yeah, me, uh, I love what you guys have been, I love it, I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to plan out my moves and everything, I was wondering, plugging the hole. Is that okay? <laughs>